एक्टिविटी uh, डायग्राम इज अ स्पेशल केस ऑफ फ्लो चार्ट ठीक है वी सॉ दैट एंड बट द की डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ फ्लो चार्ट डायग्राम एंड एन एक्टिविटी डायग्राम इज दैट दैट वी एक्टिविटी डायग्राम इट अलाउज कंकरेंसी इट अलाउज द एक्टिविटीज टू ऑकर इन पैरल ठीक है जी तो इट प्रोवाइड कंकरेंट एग्जीक्यूशन दैट इज द की डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्टिविटी डायग्राम एनी एनी नॉर्मल फ्लो चार्ट then we saw that activity diagram they are used to basically expand or understand the flow in a use in the use cases similarly if we have multiple use cases then activity diagrams they can be used to understand the flow between different use cases okay because let's say we have five use cases in our system depending on the different actors that we have in our system and we want to understand that how the information will be flown between different use cases then we can do that using activity diagrams and where do they fit in they are normally followed after the use cases because we want to understand the use cases so that's their ideal place that we basically want to create activity diagrams once we have those use cases